In this quick video we're going to concentrate on some of the geometric shapes that are in task 1 in the booklet. Um, we've got a square, a triangle and a pentagon, although I've also added in a circle. And because I'm running out of space in my sheet here, it'll probably be missed off the camera. I'm going to turn the page around and focus in that space up there. So, just as before, um, for light lines for constructing our, our sketches, try and get used to holding your pencil about halfway up and nice and lightly. And for outlines, hold your pencil a bit more like what you would do if you were going to be writing, so you get a lot more fine control for putting weight down onto the pencil. So, the secret to all of these things is constructing, and the construction basis for all of them is actually a square. So just to take the square on, nice and lightly, there's a couple of horizontal lines. Turn my page round and hopefully getting the proportion just about right. What should be pretty close to vertical lines in our page and that's given us the construction basis for a square. So I can change my pencil grip now and outline these in. And again remember sketching isn't about things being perfect. It's simply about communicating the information that we need to communicate. If we start to look at a triangle now, again, the basis is round about a square. So if I extend these horizontal construction lines out, give myself a constructed square to start with and for the apex of the triangle between here and here I'm going to estimate where halfway along is, turn my page and then I can construct in light lines from that point down to that corner and similarly from this point down to that corner and having done that I change my pencil grip and start to outline in the outlines of the triangle. Moving on to the pentagon, again I'm using a square as the starting point, so changing my pencil grip back to being light. Start off with something that's approximately a square. For the point of the pixel going up at the top, I'm taking exactly the same track as what I did for the point of the triangle. I'm going to roughly about 20 to 25 percent of the way down the height of the square, constructing a horizontal line like so. And the purpose of that is to give me a position where I can construct in light lines to get two of the sides of the pentagon. And then if I do something similar along that vertical and along that vertical, then that in turn gives me positions put in those sides and then that will allow me to get the base of the pentagon down there as well. So having achieved that, change my pencil grip back to a writing grip and now I can outline in all five sides of the pentagon now that I've got them constructed. And finally, for the circle, again, I'm going to use a square as the basis for the circle. And what I'm going to do with the square is I'm going to, first of all, construct in diagonals from corner to corner. 
And then having done that, I'm going to use where the diagonals cross to construct in horizontal and vertical centres inside the square. And this is effectively going to become a join the dots exercise. On the diagonal, from centre to corner, I'm going to take a point that's roughly about three quarters of the way from the centre out to the corner, like so. And then from there, from where this line touches the outside edge of the square, up to there, through there, I'm going to use my hand in an arcing motion to put in a curve on an arc. Similarly here, and here, and here, working my way all the way around. Although my initial square has been a little bit out of proportion to start with, like I said earlier, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be enough to communicate what we want to communicate.